All right, so next thing we're going to look at is the end of the game uh, before we do scoring. So after the, the large deck has run out, the last thing the players will do is discard their cards from their hands and reveal the gems that they have behind their screen. At this point, players may choose to paint the circles with the remaining gems that they have to try to, to make single color circles. So in this example, this player, this particular player, has three gems left, two greens and a red. So we can play the red gem here to cover up that green and turn that into a single color red. Now when we do that, we do not receive a gem of that color for completing that single color because we are painting it and not uh, playing cards to create it. So with the last two gems, the player can play them here to create a single green. Now the other thing to keep in mind is that there are four sections of each circle. So in order to paint the top of a circle, you would need two gems of a different color. So for example, if we wanted to change this yellow circle to a green, you would need four green gems to do so like this. Once players have done the painting of their circles, the game is done and we are ready to move on to the scoring. Alright, so the last thing we're going to cover is the scoring because it can be a little tricky. So with this, I like to use the victory point tokens. And we're going to go right down the list. So the first thing we're going to look at is the single colored circles. So you get points for each single color circle you have, including the ones that you've painted. You will get points based on the top card in the level. So for example, with this particular one yellow, you will get two victory points because the card that completes is on the second level. And you also will get two points for having this here, which gives you two points for every complete yellow you have. So with this one, you'll get four points. For this green one, you'll get two. For this blue one, you'll have two. And up here, this one is a complete green, and it's completed by the third level. So you'll get three there and three here for this red. The next section is infinite gemstones. So you will get, yet again, the gemstone, the point is worth two since it's the second level. And we also get a bonus two points for having this. So this gemstone is worth four. From there we move on to law cards. So in this example we have one law card. And it, this law card reads, it reads, at the end of the game gain one point for every card in your pyramid. And those put, even those under youth cards. So in this example we have 12 points or 12 cards so we get 12 points for that. Uh, the next thing we're going to look at is PowerPoint tokens. So we have the one here which is already there so we don't have to worry about it. And after that then we have magic tokens. Now we do have two scrolls but unfortunately with this particular one we also would need to have uh, tokens that also grant us victory points. So if we only have one of them, we get nothing. If we would have had both of them, this would have given us two points for each scroll that we have. But since we don't have any of these, then the scrolls are not worth anything for this particular thing. So the next thing we're going to look at is complete sets. To complete a set, you need one shield, one science token, and one magic token. For every set that you can complete of that, you'll get 12 victory points. So we'll put that here. Because we only have one complete set. We have one gear and another scroll, but our last token is a sword. If it would have happened to have been a shield, then we would have gotten an additional 12 points for that. So at this point, the last thing that we have to look at is the amount of swords that we have. And and the amount of swords that our opponents have. For every sword that a player has, 
their opponents need to have a shield to match it. If a player has more swords than any of their opponents have shields, they will do damage based on victory points to their opponent, which will be equal to 4 points for every sword that they have over the number of shields that your opponent has. So for example, let's say that one of our opponents happens to have three swords. We only have one shield, so he would do eight points of damage to us, so we would remove eight points of victory. Once that is concluded, then you would add up all of the victory points you have, and that would be your total for this game. So for us, we would have 24 30, 40, 45, and that would be our total. Thanks for watching, and if you have any constructive criticisms or suggestions to make these videos better, if you like them, please let me know, and I look forward to reading your comments. Have a great day. Thanks.